living well with a disability. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Erica Kroos. She is the Public Relations Coordinator for Center for Independent Living of Central PA. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Talk to us about what you do as an organization. You reach out to a wide variety of people. Yes, we serve people of all ages and all disabilities in pretty much whatever it is that they want or need. So we get calls for needing a ramp on to get in and out of your home, to I need to be able to get to the grocery store, to I just want to go back to school and get my GED. Um, so people call us and we help with whatever services they may need. You say you're almost a, a one-stop resource. What do you mean by that? Well, for people with disabilities, you typically can have a lot of problems getting the services you need. You know, you go one place to have someone come into your home and take care of you, help you with dressing and cleaning and cooking, but then you have to go somewhere completely different to get um, tickets to ride the bus system. And it's, it's really difficult to have to figure out, now where do I go, now who do I call? So it's very important to us to be that one call, because either we can take care of whatever it is you need in-house, or if we don't, we should at least know who does. You know, the worst we're ever going to say, is let me do some research and I'll get back to you. So it's everything from how to put together a basic household budget to I'm thinking about changing my career and I need some assistance on how to figure out how exactly. to do that. Exactly, and everything in between. Even I want to learn to scuba dive. Whatever it may be, you can call us and we will help you figure it out. Now there's a program called Living Well with a Disability and this is really the blanket program for what you yes. do as an organization. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. People call in to Living Well with a Disability. We'll take down your basic information, what you think your needs are, and say you up with someone who hopefully, is, if we can, is even going through a similar situation. And we have uh, at least 50% of our staff at all times are also people with disabilities who understand what you're going through. So if we have someone who has a similar disability to you, then we will put you with that person. You'll get paired together and you'll set goals for yourself and work on the steps to reach them. Why is it important to have that parity in place, to have someone who may be going through the same process, to uh, have that individual in place to, to help them along, help them with that understanding as well? It makes it really collaborative. We're always driven by the people we serve. We don't want to come in and say, this is what you're going to do with your life, or this is what we think you need. Um, it's very much that person's choice. So we have someone there who is working with you um, just to to give that guidance, but also that support. It's, it's like a mentorship program, really. And we're not just talking about resources for health care or finances, but we're talking about living well. You mentioned scuba diving, but you've had people call who've said, I want to write a novel. I, yes. I want to do something really fun and meaningful in my life. That's right. We have someone now who's working on their autobiography. Um, I, one of our other people that we serve really likes to write plays. Um, but yeah, it's, it's what makes you happy. It's what does Lynn Well mean to you? And you're having a fundraiser to support yeah. all of these efforts, everything from writing a novel to taking care of very basic needs within yes. the home. Uh, now, all of this is happening on uh, Saturday, July 23rd. It's called Walk and Roll for Living Well. Tell yeah. us about this fundraiser. It's a great walk. I mean, lots of organizations have walks, but what makes ours a little different? Well, it is fully accessible, so there will be people there um, using wheelchairs. They may be using scooters. We had somebody on a big tricycle last year. So it's however you like to get around. We come together, we celebrate the anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. You just walk a couple laps around City Island, come back, enjoy a nice free lunch, you know, get your t-shirt, hopefully win a raffle or two, and have a really good day out in the community. How can people actually get involved with this event? You can visit our website, uh, it's cilcp.org. There's information there. Just call our office. We'll be more than happy to point everyone in the right direction. And again, all of this happens at City Island uh, in Harrisburg, and it's on Saturday, July 23rd. Really a fun event, and you're looking for everyone to participate. Yes, it's just great. It's a community event. It's a family event of people just spending time together on what will hopefully be a gorgeous sunny day. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. We've been talking with Erica Kroos. She is the Public Relations Coordinator for Center for Independent Living of Central Pennsylvania. I'm Jill Horner.